What do you feel when you see a Ko? Oh, Ko is such a complicated element of the game of Go. How could you know who will win the Ko? Is it like a toss of a coin? In this course, I will teach you how to not be afraid of a Ko. We will learn how to approach the topic systematically. After watching the course, you will feel confident during a Ko fight. My name is Stanisław Freilak, I am one done professional, and this is my Go Magic course about Ko. Ko is a very interesting topic. This is what makes Go different from other board games. Suddenly, a local fight expands to the whole board. All the positions become intertwined, intertwined, and everything is possible. You might think that Ko brings chaos to the game, and if it's possible, it's better to avoid it. But if you are scared of Ko, you would miss all these wonders of Go. Often, playing Ko is just good for you. Imagine that your opponent has built a huge moyo. You don't want to let him turn it into points, so you invade. If you manage to get a Ko there, it's a big success. Look at this situation that appeared in one of my games in the Polish Championship. Black has a big moyo, so white invades. Black tries to surround white, and white is making a base. At this moment, perhaps white could try to make two eyes on the side, but white has a better option. It's time to learn the first basic technique, how to provoke a ko. It's very useful, especially when you are trying to make a good shape in your opponent's framework. The trick is to play a tiger's mouth. This move aims at getting a big living space, and also it tries to go out. But after white's tiger's mouth, black will play this Atari. And how do you think? Where should white play next? The aim of the tiger's mouth is to start the Ko. Don't play this connection and get an empty triangle. If you play this tiger's mouth, you get a good chance to make a very big life in black's area. Are you afraid what happens if you lose the Ko? Don't worry, then you will get two moves somewhere else on the board. However, if you win the Ko, then you are immediately alive with a very good shape and all Black's potential is gone. Tiger's Mouth is a powerful technique. Let's take a look at an example that can happen after a common opening. This is called a Chinese opening and this one is a micro Chinese opening. In the recent years, professionals often started approaching it with this attachment. If this move looks new to you, don't worry, I will show you one of the most simple continuations. Black can extend, and now white's job is to create a group on the side. White tries to go into the corner, black blocks white from doing it, and how do you think white should continue? White could connect solidly, then black would take the corner, and it's not bad for white, however, white could do better. Remember about the tiger's mouth. White will play here, and then black would play Atari. Now, the important thing is that you shouldn't connect and get an empty triangle. This would be a very bad shape. The idea is to start a Ko. Oh no, but are you not risking much? Don't be scared of your opponent playing this Ko. It is like a little spider. You might be scared of it, but in fact, it is much more scared of you. Look, if white loses this ko, it is not too bad. The three white stones got a bit more weak, but anyway, it was black's area. However, if you manage to win this ko, then look at this position. You capture one stone, and then that one. Not only did you get a very strong shape, but now even black's group became pretty weak. I assure you, that black really doesn't want to lose this ko. So how will it go in practice? After you find the ko threat, you will recapture the ko, and now it will be quite difficult for black to find a ko threat that is big enough. So what you could expect is that black will simply connect. And now compare this result with the result which we saw before. In this one, white doesn't have an eye shape yet. However, in this shape, White could already imagine where their future eyes will be. Another technique which we will talk about is an Atari provoking a Ko. Let me show it to you on an example taken from a common Joseki. In this shape, it's common for black to invade. White covers. Black goes 
between white stones, and then white captures one stone of black, and in exchange, black can capture white stone in a ladder. This is a good move. However, black has a better option. Imagine what happens if black plays this Atari. White might connect, but then white's shape is pretty bad. These are two empty triangles, and black can still capture white stone in a ladder. Your opponent will be very annoyed with your move. It's quite uncomfortable to simply connect, but what other option does white have? If white decides to start the call, then white is risking really much. In case you win the call, not only your shape becomes very strong, but white is completely split and all of white stones are a target for black's attack. Don't be afraid of playing Atari. The Atari puts your opponent in a very uncomfortable situation. You show them that in this position you are the boss, you are not scared of anything and they need to make a difficult choice. Compromise or take a big risk. Perhaps even clearer example of this principle can be met in this common joseki. This is a position which can happen after a common corner approach, after which white played elsewhere and black played a pincer. Now white could attach, black doesn't want to give white the corner, and then white sacrifices one stone, and in exchange white splits black stones. And what to play next? If you choose to connect, then apparently you are still scared of a call. After this move, black could play Hane in center. However, look what happens if you Atari first. Black will connect, and then you connect your stones. If now black decides to play this move, you don't need to extend, you can Atari first and block black's expansion to the bottom side. But wait, wait, what happens if black starts a call? Theoretically, black could start a fight, but look how much black could lose on it. Now black would need a really big threat. otherwise his whole corner dies and you get such a strong shape. In this position, you will basically never see black starting a call. The Joseki move is to simply connect and let white also connect their stones. If you're ready to learn one a bit more advanced technique of starting a call, then let's look again at the same joseki. If white doesn't want to lose this stone in the corner, then instead of playing the tiger's mouth, white could also cut. Your opponent might be quite surprised with this move. What is white doing? Couldn't black just capture this cutting stone? And yes, black could capture white. However, then white can Atari from the outside and if black connects, white will Atari again and get the corner. So black's correct decision is to capture white's stone. And then, can you guess the proper next move of white? Yeah, don't be afraid of a call. Play this Atari and provoke black to start it. If black is afraid, then black's shape becomes so bad, it's two empty triangles and there is still an Aji. Maybe in the future, white will even extend this stone and split black's shape. On the other hand, if black starts the call, then black risks really a lot. Black's shape in the corner will be completely broken if white wins the call. And remember, even if you lose this call, then your stones are not dead yet and you would get two moves somewhere else on the board. An attachment and then crosscut is an advanced technique how to create a call basically out of nowhere. Your opponent will be very annoyed by such moves. I hope that after this lesson you will feel more confident about starting a call. But is there any order in this chaos? When should you be afraid of a call and when should your opponent be more afraid? When to start the call and when is it better to keep calm and avoid it? In the next lessons, I will teach you three principles that will help you make these decisions. By the way, you can also watch these lessons on our platform, gomagic.org. Except there, you'll watch them with interactive quizzes right within the lessons and practical exercises right after them. And if you enjoy watching these Go videos and you don't want to miss others like this one, go smash that like button 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, and this is Go Magic.